Hi, it's Victoria from Marvio, and I want to show you in this tutorial how you can start tracking the conversions of your Facebook ads. Facebook have reintroduced conversion tracking into um, the ads manager and the power editor in Facebook. And this now means with a simple piece of code added to any of your um, website pages where the conversion happens or where you're sending your ad traffic, um, you can add this piece of code there and it's going to track how what actions people who have clicked on your ad will take on that page and how they're converting. And those metrics are then going to be tracked in your Facebook Ads Manager. So it's something that people have been wanting for a long time. It used to happen in um, the Ads Manager and then they, they stopped offering it. Um, but now they've reintroduced it. So I'm going to show you a quick way to get up and running um, so that you can start tracking how your ads are converting for um, certain actions such as getting more leads or sales. Um, so I'll let's dive in and I'll show you. Um, when you're in the traditional ads manager, you'll see the conversion tracking is an option down the, the left hand side here. You can also use it in the power ed editor and you can just highlight here conversion tracking um, and create a conversion pixel. So what you first need to create the conversion pixel to set that up before you can start running ads to it. Um, you can use the same pixel um, for, for different ads. So you might just want to set up one generic um, pixel and start testing that. Uh, so in the traditional ads manager, we would um, do that, go back over here. Um, create a conversion pixel, which I've actually already done in here. Um, but all you need to do is select create conversion pixel. It will then ask you to um, agree to the terms and conditions when you first go in there. So I'll just say offsite test. Oh, I think it doesn't want to back up there. Offsite test. Um, and now these are the, the types of conversions that you can um, track. So it might be checkouts, registrations, new leads, page, key page views, ads to cart, um, and other. So um, in this instance, I just would normally be tracking leads. So I'll select leads there, um, and then I want to create a pixel. And it's going to give me a piece of code. As it says here, you copy the code and paste it between your head and head in the HTML code of your website. Now I'll show you how what that looks like on my site, but it might be different on yours. But just to give you an idea of the way it works, I copy this code so that then um, whenever traffic that comes from an ad is um, lands on that page, it will automatically count that that person's there and, and will look for that certain action. So um, I copy that um, and then I can close um, and now it's added another test one here so what I want what I will do is just use my um, actual one that I want to use the pixel for F, FB ad so I'll view the pixel code and I actually want to copy this code here and then I'm going to go to the website and I'm going to put it in the, the back of my home page. So I, I want to track, if I want to send um, traffic to this page, I've got my opt-in at the top. So I want to track um, how many leads I'm going to capture if I run an ad to this page. So then I need to go into the back end of that page. And in my website, because of the way it's built, um, the setting is under here under scripts. Um, and I click on scripts and then I've got the um, header code script here. All I need to do is then just paste the conversion tracking code in there. Um, and then I can update. Which is done. And then I can go about creating an ad, which I've already started to do to save time in here. So 
Um, what I've done is just set up a general, what we call a marketplace ad with a picture, image and headline um, to drive leads to my homepage just to test the tracking and the conversion tracking. So don't worry too much about that targeting. I've just set that up to show you the ad and how we go about making sure that it converts. Um, now, the this, this section here that I want to um, bring to your attention is obviously conversion tracking. So I want to track conversions to this website and then it's going to give you that option here um, for to use the pixel that I've already created, which is why you need to create that um, the pixel first. So I've already done that and I'm clicking now it's saying um, it hasn't received any requests yet, which may mean it's not set up. I think that's because I haven't set the traffic there yet. So I'll select that. Now, um, it will automatically go that my bid will be optimized to get conversions on your website. Now, normally I say don't um, select that, but in this instance, do select that for this because Facebook will be optimizing the traffic for conversions. So leave that selected there. And then all you need to do is place the order. And it's going to come up in your campaign manager. Then once that's happened, you will be able, it's going to give you um, the information in your ads manager about how that is converting. So um, within the power editor as well, that should show you how that's converting in your dashboard as well. So um, it's a pretty similar kind of process um, with you in the power editor if you want to use that create the conversion pixel and then go about using the um, power editor to create your ads so once we've got that you should be able to track how they they um how your ads are converting by using that code so once i've sent some traffic here and it's been approved i'd be able to show you um, exactly how that's now converting news that we have the conversion tracking now available within Facebook and you don't need to use external software anymore. So go ahead and start testing and, and seeing the kind of um, results you're getting rather than just your traditional likes and clicks and cost per click and click through rate. Now you can start actually seeing conversions based on your objectives. So this is a um, you know a great new feature, and I really urge you to start using it. So um, I'd love to hear how you go. Um, please, you know, if you have any issues setting it up, just let me know in the comments below this video, and um, I'd love to hear from you there.